Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Coach Ingrid Hughes here. Good morning, teammates. It's Positive Talk Thursday. And there's a post that's been posted in this page on Thursday, and it will be happening every Thursday. And this is something that I need you to participate in. It's not just a want. I need you to participate in Positive Talk Thursday. You can see the post. If you don't participate, I'm going to call you out. I'm going to be tagging your name. This is something everyone can do. And one of the reasons I want to do this is because it was confirmed to me in my Bible study this morning. I came out of the book of the first chapter of Ruth and also in my personal development. And one of the things I was talking about was commitment and loyalty. And I want to apply that to self. Commitment and loyalty to self. Because we always think about the commitment to our children, to our spouses, to our parents. But we rarely commit to ourselves. And I challenge you to commit to yourself with your fitness journey, with your personal development. And what is personal development? It is personally developing yourself through some kind of reading. Or if you're not a reader, then there's no reason you can't get something on audio and listen to it while you're traveling back and forth on trips, traveling back and forth to work or what have you. There's really no excuse for you not personally developing yourself, especially if you're struggling. So they talked about today in my personal development, they talked about, um, they gave an example of, Uh, people who always say they can't do something and they're struggling with it and they just resolve that they can't do it. So they talk about the principle of just one mile, just one more mile, just one more second, just one more minute. And so there was a gentleman who was um, part of World War II and uh, he had the parachute out of an airplane because obviously it was crippled. And so when they, their, their rescue wasn't coming for a couple of weeks. And so they were like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a 140 mile trek. I can't do 140 miles, but I can make it to that ridge. So they made it to the ridge. Well, I can't make it 140 miles, but I can make it to the base of that mountain. And so they just kept going it to, to the ridge, to the base of the mountain, to that tree, to this, to that. And so I want you to apply that to life. Take your fitness journey one hour at a time. Take your decision to quit smoking one hour at a time. Okay, I'm not going to smoke for this next hour. And then just take it the next hour and then the next hour. The same thing with your fitness journey. It may be too overwhelming for you to think about eating cleanly for the rest of your life. It may be too overwhelming for you to think about uh, exercising every day for the rest of your life. So do it today. It's going to take an hour or less of your time today. So just think about today's hour or less. Think about today's um, next meal. Plan them out, but just think about, well, I'm just going to eat breakfast in the morning. Once you get your breakfast in the morning, I'm just going to focus on on that next healthy snack. I, I have my snack plan for XYZ time. I'm just going to focus on that. And then just do the next meal and the next meal and the next meal. And then that day is in the books. And then as you start to progress, then take it one day at a time then I'm just going to do tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to do just, just tomorrow. Not thinking about the whole week, just tomorrow. This guy in this book was so impactful because not only was he, they had to parachute out of the, out of the crippled airplane, but he stepped on a nail. So he had a nail in his boot, which caused a blister on his foot. So truly, you know, he thought he couldn't make it 140 miles. But as long as you keep thinking you can do the next ridge, the next mountain, the next whatever, you've got this. And if it's too hard for you to think about doing it for yourself, many of you in this group are mommies. You gave birth. And I always, I'm not a mom. I'm I'm childless by choice. But I always think moms are superheroes. I've always said it. My mom will tell you that I've always called her a superhero because I feel like if you can give birth to a child, there is nothing you can't do. And so those of you who are moms, I challenge you to think back to a time when there was something with your child that you felt like, well, I don't have time for this or I don't feel like doing this, but you did it anyway. Why? Because of your love and your commitment to that child. I want you to then take that love and commitment and put it into you. Think of it as if, what if your child's life depended on you getting healthier? What if your child's life depended on you pressing play and getting that workout done? What if your child's life depended on you drinking your um, superfood smoothie? What if your child's life depended on 
you eating that next clean meal. Would you do it? Of course you would. So put that into your why. Sometimes we, we really forget about the realistic part of it. If you are a parent, your children's life sometimes do depend on you getting healthier because you're stressing them out by you not being healthier because they're scared you're going to die. All of us don't have children, so it may not be about your children. But I know one thing, I don't want my mom to have to bury another one of her children if I can have something to do with it. I know it would crush my mom to have to bury me because of something I could have prevented. Now, obviously, we can die from anything. But if we can, if we can live a healthy and fulfilling life, on purpose, with intentionality, why not? It's Positive Thursday. I want you to think positively and tell yourself you can do it and pray about it. Every single day, pray about it. Ask God for what you need. We have not because we ask not. You can do this. God loves you and so do I. Have a blessed and healthy day. Bye now.